himself, Lucifer. <laughs> SNN, Satan News Network. Tonight, we're going to look at two things that aren't so positive. Some disastrous setbacks in the development of our established plan. It's horrendous. I will share with you now and I'll try not to vomit, but it's disgusting. Now, the United States Supreme Court has overturned the historic Roe v. Wade ruling. Abortion could now become illegal in at least 22 U.S. states, ending 50 years of federal protection. What this could essentially mean is that over 36 million women could lose access to abortion. Today, the Supreme Court of the United States expressly took away a constitutional right from the American people that it had already recognized. They didn't limit it. They simply took it away. That's never been done to a right so important to so many Americans. But they did it. It's a sad day for the court and for the country. Until now, abortion in the United States was guided by the landmark Supreme Court case, Roe v. Wade. The 1973 case decided that access to protection for abortion is a constitutional right. The 1992 ruling, Planned Parenthood v. Casey, further upheld it. It sa said that women can get an abortion until the fetus is viable. That's usually around 22 to 24 weeks. The ruling was overturned by a conservative majority bench, out of which three justices are Donald Trump appointees. Reacting to the ruling, the former president has said that God has made this decision. God, I'm sick of this guy. Ever since my expulsion from heaven by this mutineer, he's been interfering with my plans. Him and his followers have caused things like this to come up. Just look at this Russian shit. Russia has approved a bill that widens a ban on so-called LGBT propaganda and restricts the demonstration of LGBT behavior. The rules make any expression of an LGBT lifestyle almost impossible. Any action or information that's considered an attempt to promote homosexuality, whether in public, online or in films, books or advertising, could now incur a heavy fine. Previously, the law had only outlawed promotion of LGBT lifestyles aimed at children. Lawmakers say they're defending traditional values of the Russian world against a liberal West that they say is determined to destroy them. But critics see the move as an attempt to further intimidate and oppress sexual minorities in Russia. The fine will be up to $6,600 for individuals and up to $82,100 for legal entities. Foreigners could face 15 days of arrest and subsequent expulsion from the country. In Russia, authorities have already used existing laws to stop gay pride marches and detain gay rights activists. Ridiculous. This is absolutely unacceptable. And it's all because of him. He's drawn countless people to his cause. But luckily, we're able to influence enough people to infiltrate his establishment. The house of God, take a look. This month, local churches are joining pride celebrations in East Tennessee, celebrating members of the LGBTQ community. And tennis reporter Vinay Simlot spoke to some religious leaders about how they say pride can coincide with religion. I now pronounce you husband and husband. The first legal gay marriage in Knox County. In the Unitarian Universalist Church, I found a place that I could express that Christian side of me and that that theology would fully embrace who I was as a gay person, as a queer person. His church embraces him and his sexuality. So does the Episcopal Church. Bishop Brian Cole held a Pride Mass last Friday. The gospel is, a, is an open door. And so for me, Pride Mass was a chance to celebrate that. His goal is to welcome everybody. Jesus is always challenging us to love the person we don't think is lovable. Would you look at that? How about that, Jehovah? Now, to end the night, a musical number, a beautiful piece used to corrupt the minds of the youth and bring countless more children to the cause. Take a look. <laughs> you think we're sinful? You fight against our rights? You say we all lead lives you can't respect? But you're just frightened? 
You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked. Funny, just this once, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. You can keep them from disco. Warn about San Francisco. Make him wear pleated pants, we don't care. We'll convert your children. We'll make them tolerant and fair, just like you worried. They'll change their group of friends. You won't approve of where they go at night to protest. Oh, and you'll be disgusted. So gross. When they start finding things online that you've kept far from their sight. Like information Guess what? You'll, You'll still, still be, be alright We'll convert your children Yes, we will Reaching one and all There's really no escaping it Cause even Grandma likes RuPaul And the world's getting kinder Gen Z's gayer than grinder. Learn to love, learn to vogue Face your fate We'll convert your children someone's gotta teach them <sighs> what a tasty gem you see no matter how bad the news gets we will always reign supreme our ideology has spread and is continuing to be pushed amongst the masses while christianity and his cause are demonized on the regular thanks to the minions we've subdued to our side now if you'll excuse me i have souls to torment <laughs>